All right, guys, this is just a, another video on um, the HDR 68. But uh, we're just going to be testing out that valve that I put those set screws in on the crimp valve. Um, the first one I did, it failed on me, so I went up above the crimp and uh, I did another one and I put the four set screws in. And I've had it plugged in for a couple hours uh, on 1100 HPA and we didn't get any leaks. Um, I just made a video before this, but I was using a, an adapter that I kind of messed up. And when I plugged it in, it, it clicked in and held and then you could see part of my O-ring blowing out the side. So it, it leaked for the adapter. So I, I, I put this adapter back in and... I was just having problems with it and uh, I ordered a kit of o-rings so we'll get back to that later but all my other adapters are in my carbine but yeah guys this we got 1100 psi tank from uh, best fittings um, I got this 20 inch aluminum barrel I got from a metal shop and we're using 10 gram uh, ammo six mold slugs that I made um, they're made from sealing wax and a 12.7 millimeter steel ball bearing right in the tip I don't know it's like a half a millimeter under the wax the wax kind of covers over it so you can't really see it but of all slugs and ammo and homemade ammo I've ever shot these takes 10 jewels in this barrel more than any other thing I've ever shot and so they must match the bore really well the ammo six molds from home defense 24 um yeah all right so i just got i got my the normal twisty on and off <clears throat> so yeah we're gonna test this out and see if it leaks and let's try it right now actually <clears throat> gassed up no leaks, 1100 PSI, crimped valve has been tapped with uh, four set screws so it doesn't pop off. It looks good, it's been holding now for, I've done this mod over a week ago. I shot it a couple times so we're going to shoot it right now. <clears throat> I got an inch of plywood down there. Uh, let me just reset this camera here. Alrighty, we're shooting down at that barrel. I got a, it's a barrel down there with a cutout and it's got Kevlar backing, so it's a really safe setup. No ricochets. Alrighty, so let's try this out. Shot number one. Four twenty-three. Wow. Four nineteen. Four oh two. Four twelve. Holy freak, that's loud. And these are ten or eleven gram slugs, but anyways, we're empty now. Um Yeah, I've had this plugged in for quite a while. We're still holding. I'm gonna shoot this extra shot out. And I'm gonna degas it so we're safe. But yeah, so I don't know guys. May still be a little bit too early, but I'm calling this modification good. I mean if it fails on me later, I'll report it and let you guys know and I'll call it I'll debunk it, but as far as my testing goes, but also I hand drilled my valve. Um, you're better off using a drill press, man, because that when you're drilling into the, the metal tube, you don't want to be edgy and angry because you only have two millimeters of threading in, the, in that tube. So if it's all screechy, that's what I think happened to the other valve I tapped. I was a little bit not straight and 
it's just a bare leak. Like a cr you can still shoot it. Like fire off your whole cylinder, no problem. At the same time, you won't lose any power from it. But you know what I mean? How long is that gonna last? So it's just held in by those little tiny set screws in the Loctite. So, but yeah, all in all, those are some big numbers there, man. Huh? Ten. We know that. 10 gram riot ball at 305 is 40 joules roughly so so yeah um uh yeah i'd say that's a good way to to save your tubes from popping off um like i said i'll, I'll check it out later down the road but yeah those are some crazy numbers man for 12 grams holy jesus that's like a hundred more than the riot ball test so anyways guys uh normally i would have this coming out of here but either way this setup's pretty good so it's not in your way look no matter where you bring it creeping around corners <clears throat> see what i mean like it doesn't hit anything it's not, i mean the barrel's more in the way than your your tank is like even holding it one hand like you can hold this out one hand all day and you know what i mean like that tank doesn't really get in your way at all <clears throat> But anyways, guys, yeah, I just wanted to show you that's a valve. That's the valve that I tapped, and it's working great with 1,100 PSI and no leaks. So take care, guys, and have a good one. Oh, wait. Let's go look at that target <clears throat> before I scrap this video. <clears throat> okay, here. Um... Oh, God. It looks like I was hitting the same area. <laughs> Anyways, it blew right through like butter. That's a... Uh, look at that. It's a full inch of plywood birch. That's solid birch. <clears throat> Jesus, like... That's insane going through there. Anyways, guys. Um, you guys all take care and have a good one. <clears throat> Stay safe.